so I am over here. There's a site that I like to go to quite a lot called watchunterprayer.org. And there's countless, probably months worth of research just to sit down and read, absorb it, take it all in. What you're looking at here is the Institute of Noahide Code. Yeah. Created in the divine image. You have a very powerful group of rabbis, Habatis Lubavitch, Lubavitch rabbis. And they all have great plans to manifest and to bring forth their antichrist, who I'm convinced the wave of the future is in fact AI, artificial intelligence, enhanced human beings, and that they are going to have a abominable branch as talked about in Isaiah 14. I got so many videos on that on the in the channel. Now what's really interesting to dive in and to look at one little puzzle piece here is on the list of the United Nations non-governmental organizations is also the Ethics and Religious Liberties Commission of the Southern Baptist Convention. As previously mentioned, because I'm I'm here in the article. This is a very long article. This is not some little couple paragraph something something. This is deep, intense research that will open your eyes if there ever was a resource to kind of take you through everything you would ever want to know about Noahide, about Israel and unbelief, about, in this particular case, we're going to talk about the left now. So you have to understand that with these fake churches, we've been cracking on the religious right, we've been just putting knuckles down to that thing, right? We've been talking about how they're in the government, they're in the music industry, they're in every area of influence in Hollywood and so on and so forth. They're in the government crawling with masons. But don't think for a second that it's only relegated to the religious right, this NAR, this new apostolic reformation. Because Satan, who is so awful, he plays both sides of the fence. He is very smart in that he's very crafty. Jesus said that he was the craftiest of the beasts. This Nakash. Well, he also has the left, the leaning left liberals, who I can't tell you which group to the left or to the right, I dislike more because they're really working on the same side. Honestly, the same goal, the same cause. You just put some over here and you paste an R on them and you put the rest over here on the left and you paste an L on them and they have the same goal. They just bring it about in slightly different ways. But in the end, it's really one group running to Noahide to have those who will be here, their heads chopped off. Because it fits in well with the plan of depopulation. If you haven't done your due diligence in understanding the UN's agenda for depopulation, up to and including its resources of the AI, robots, military, Lockheed Martin, on and on and on it goes, friends, then I don't know what to tell you. You need to hunker down and look into my videos because I have a lot of videos that goes over this. It ties it all together. It helps you understand. Honestly, um, you are surrounded by lunatics. And I really can't paint it any other nice way. You're surrounded by high-level satanic entities who have no good intention towards you or your children. They have worked very diligently through the scheming of the central banks to steal away the wealth of the dollar. We've done videos showing you that we give almost, uh, uh, so 22%, or that's almost a quarter then, of all the money that is taken from us, our hard-earning tax dollars, where you have moms and dads that are out working two and three jobs, or whatever. You know, maybe you're 
working one job and you really have a manna lifestyle where you're like, Lord, get me through, <laughs> whatever, whatever. And the government is so nice to divest a huge portion of your taxes for their fun and games and taking a good portion of it and giving some of it to Israel who Israel and unbelief hates your guts. Yeah, I used to totally be all about Israel. And I love Jews that are in belief. I love Jewish stuff, but I'm not talking about them. No, no. I'm talking about the ones who want to murder you because they exist. And there's like a media blackout where they're not allowed to talk about it and they won't. And if there is people talking about it, the chances that they're truly born again are high. And the people that refuse to talk about it, I'm afraid it's becoming a litmus test. Yeah. <sighs> of who may be the enemy. Because there's only so long you can plead ignorance. But anyhow, to bring it back around, you're surrounded by evil that wants to steal your money, give it to the UN, give it to Israel, give it to Islam, and they distract you so that they can take your money and um, Americans barely clinging on each and every year as they steal away your money homeless or you know whatever types of consequences happen where real people get hurt our vets are treated like garbage yeah they're treated like garbage i think that's so disgusting and really nobody ultimately does anything it's a lot of loose words that don't really amount to anything but on and on and on this whole background that i could give you this whole time i could just talk and talk and talk about what's being done we're not being infiltrated. We've already been that. You're in the final death throes. And this is why they're prepping for the Antichrist. Now let's bring it back around again. So we've been highly critical of the religious right because they're satanic, masonic scum. I'm sorry, but they are. When they want to sexually abuse children, steal all your money, murder you off, um, that's not a nice person. So... Forgive me for labeling it what it is. You want to mass murder a bunch of people and jerk them over? You're evil. <laughs> but they're not the only ones. No, no, you got double trouble. Jonathan Lehman. Let's go there. Let's talk about him. He's the editorial director for the, I don't do Roman numerals, Mark's church planting, right? Multiply the problem. Church planting, left only. Operation of Mark Deaver, who is pastor of Capitol Hill Baptist, which is Southern Baptist. Lehman also has all these fancy degrees, which makes him far more smart than you. They would tell you of the theological cemetery. Old joke. Ha <laughs> ha. It's true. And is an adjunct professor and lecturer at SBTS and is associated with all these letters that mean absolutely not the slightest thing because when they cook in the pit of hell, they can think about all the education they got and all the letters to go after their name while they're setting you up, Americans, earth, for your wholesale slaughter, up to and including your children because they don't care. And if God allowed it, they would succeed. Now, I am of the belief and don't want to get a whole lot into this, that there is a coming escape recorded right there in the Greek for the revelation for the Revelation 3.10, actual born-again Christians. But most of the church is a bunch of fakes, so they're going to be here for this, and they're planning your destruction. And here he is. Look at him. He's smiling at you like, oh, we're just going to rock your world. All the stuff that the Bible said about they're going to murder you, yeah, it's totally true. And so he's this PhD, because, you know, they're smarter, and University of Wales, and all of his little... Um, accolades and he's got kids too and um you should know by now if you do just even the slightest little thimble size ounce of research even like um skywatch tv ironically the fall brothers they do a video called the belly of the beast and while i don't agree with all of it and how they pigeonhole one location for the beast of uh or the uh, horror uh babylon rather and they try to say it's just America. It's the whole world. The, the Bible is so clear. It's the whole world. Leadership to people. It's the whole planet of rebellion. But 
Anyhow, uh, Washington, D.C. is one of the most Masonic cities on the face of the earth that our government resides in. So he actually wrote a book. And that's kind of where I want to focus. You should note that your um, your Noahide laws actually descend from the Babylonian captivity in the Talmud, where you have a whole bunch of human rabbis that got bad religion and non-worship, all levels of just evil wickedness from the Gentile pagan nations and adapted it and now have stamped it, hugged it, called it George. And that's their religion now. And then they call, this is the best part, they call it Torah. It's not Torah, it's Talmud. And so in this article, it talks about how the Talmud frequently speaks of the seven laws of the sons of Noah. And they were regarded as obligatory upon all mankind in contradistinction to those that were binding upon Israel's only. Well. That's according to them because the Ten Commands were for the foreigners and the Jews. Now, honestly, there's so much that could be said. He goes so thorough in these articles about the content and makeup of the level of evil that you're dealing with from unbelievers in the Talmud. That basically essentially give themselves permission to do all manner of evil. It's all footnoted out. It's all documented. And it's all about decapitation of laws that they themselves don't find the need to adhere to. They actually want to have established courts of justice in every city and providence. And these courts are to judge the people with regard to the six laws and warn them against the transgression of any of them. And part of those is that Jesus has got to go. And it all parlays back into the origin of Freemasons. Mm hmm. They screw around with this mystical black magic and it's Lucifer. Yeah. Now there's so much in this article. But you may be wondering, why do we care about Jonathan Lehman? Big deal. Who cares? Now look at all these presidents. Look at them all. Now, this is the one that put it into law. And it's been sitting there waiting. Homeboy looks possessed. I just, I don't even know what to do with that. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> bring me your three-year-old. Um, He purported to be a Christian. Our pastor went to a conference and my husband did some research on it last night and it was an ecumenical thing. And then uh, some years later, our pastor brought the shack into our church and destroyed it. There's your favorite Christian president with all these rabbis who want to take your head off. You know why? They're all together in there. And here's Abby Lipkin. And little Jared. Yay. Now let's go back to Jonathan Lehman's book. Well, do pause this and read that and this paragraph too because it's really important. So you have a lot of people that are behind the scenes working against you to stab you in the back. Yeah. Before we do that, why don't you pause this and kind of go over these couple paragraphs? Because, yeah, they're really important. They're planning your demise, and everyone's in on it. Who is rich and famous? They're all Satanists getting ready to roll you when the Lord lifts off and takes his people and leaves those who didn't want to get born again. That's what you're going to run right into, the Noahide laws with these psychopaths, the goats. So Jonathan wrote a book to help bring the church to the terms that you're, you're just going to give in and submit, and your Christianity is going to be a political one in nature. Yeah, you're going to go underneath the Noahide, and you're going to like it. He presents his case in his uh, terrible book called Political Church, the local assembly as embassy of 
Christ's rule. And when he says Christ, just like Kanye is saying, Jesus is king. Yeah, he's not actually talking about Jesus the Christ. Neither is Kanye. They're talking about the introduction of the Antichrist, who's going to cut lots of people's heads off. Yeah, that's what's happening. See how the head is cut off in the picture? Yeah. And you have certain civic duties of displaying God's righteousness to the world. Now, remember, Kanye's pastor talked about the holiness of God. Noah Hyde's coming.